Hello students. Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well. Today we are going to learn about alphabets. We are now going to learn how to write alphabet T. We will use dotted lines in the beginning. For that, you can use crayons or pencil to write the alphabet. Students, why don't you sing a poem with me? Okay? Then let's start. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Let's start by drawing small dots starting from your left towards your right in a straight line. Now start from the center and draw more dots towards the bottom in a straight line. Now that we have finished drawing the dots, let's join them to form a slipping line. Now from the center of the slipping line, let's join the rest of the dots to form a standing line. Please see to it your standing line is bigger than your slipping line. That's how you write alphabet T. For practicing at home, students can use a four line notebook. First, I will demonstrate the correct way to write the alphabet while using a four line notebook. If you start from the top red line, and end at the bottom red line, this is wrong way. Write the alphabet between the top red line and the third blue line. This is correct way. Parents can guide by using dotted line method so that children can practice by repeating on the notebook. This is how we recommend using the four line notebook. While using the four line notebook, start the alphabet from the top red line and end it on the third blue line. Let's learn some words starting from alphabet T. T for tiger. Tiger is an animal. What kind of an animal is tiger? Yes, he is a wild animal. T for tortoise. Tortoise is a reptile species. Most of the tortoise live on land, but some live in water too. T for teddy bear. Some of you must be having a teddy bear at home. Do you like him? I too have one with me. T for train. Train is a passenger vehicle. It takes people from one place to another. You must have traveled by a train. Did you like sitting at the window seat and looking at the beautiful surroundings? Yes? Very good. T is for truck. Truck is a transport vehicle. Truck is mainly used to transport goods from one place to another. T for traffic lights. Traffic lights are located on busy roads. They tell you whether to stop or to move on a busy road. T for toys. Do you like toys? Yes. Do you like to play with your toys? Oh wow, that's great. You must be having lots and lots of toys with you. 
during my childhood i used to enjoy playing with my toys too t for top top is a spinning toy do you know wooden tops used to be a favorite toy for children before mobile phones and computers were invented now a days you can see different types of tops with lights with music and lots of color t for table table is a furniture tables are used for various purposes like dining table study table tea pot and various other types T for tent Tents are used as a temporary shelters Many people use this while going for a trek or picnics Do you all likes to go for picnics Yes very good T for teeth Children do you brush your teeth every day Yes very good it is a good habit you have to always keep your teeth clean e for tooth brush we use tooth brush to clean our teeth okay children e for tub We use tubs in our bathrooms. These are used for bathing purpose. Children, have you taken a bubble bath in a bathtub? Isn't it so much fun? Yes. Okay. T for tap. Tap. are generally found in our kitchens and bathrooms they are used to dispense water t for toffee yes do you all like toffee children yes toffee is sweet in taste this one would be a uh, everyone's favorite yes even mine even i like to eat toffee t for telephone children do you know why we use telephone wait i'll tell It is a communication device. Telephones are used to communicate with other people near or far. They have now been replaced with mobile phones. T for television. Television is a source of entertainment and education. Yes, I know. You all like to watch TV, isn't it? Yes. Good. But children, you should not spend much time watching the TV as it is not good for your eyes. Okay? T for teacher. Yes. Now children do you know what do you mean by teacher I'll tell you teachers provide you knowledge and help you grow with confidence isn't it yes thank you students for watching this video i would like to request everyone to practice writing this alphabet at home 